So Spencer still has a little bit more to go as far as grinding the metal sheeting down. But while he was working on that, I was going to start peeling this off a little bit because you can see that we had way too much come over just because it was so hard to keep it straight and everything. So now we're in a pickle. We figured it'd be easy to just cut it and peel it, peel it off. Oh no, that's proven not to be the case. This is going to be very challenging. So now he's helping me try to get this started and pull this off. This is just one example of how we make mistakes, okay? <laughs> if we were going to have it overlap as much as we did, we should have peeled it off immediately, but we were just so concerned with getting the metal on. And the reason we're so concerned with this is because the trim pieces that we have obviously are not going to cover this. And when you're down on the ground and looking up, you don't want to see that because that'll look horrible. So it has to come off, but it's probably going to take us a little while. Well, on the bright side, we know water is never going to get through this on our roof. Okay, so if you look on the area on the corner there, let me try to, ooh, this area right here, we tried peeling the peel and stick off and it's like pretty much a complete disaster. So we worked on it for roughly 45 minutes. This is all we could get off. <laughs> um, we tried several different methods of scraping and whatnot without trying to damage the wood too much and yeah so we don't think we can get it off so I think all we're going to do is get some trim and try to just cover all the uh, the peel and stick yeah all the peel and stick that just hide the imperfections with trim yeah I have a feeling it's going to be a common theme <laughs> in the house like, what do we do just Add another piece of trim. Yeah, it's not what I wanted to do at all, but no. this has proven to be far too difficult. So, looks like that's the route we're taking. So, now we're gonna run to the store and go get our trim pieces. And, uh, I don't know, kind of is what it is. Pardon the grinding noise in the background. Spencer's finishing up cutting those sheets up there. But, we did just get back from the store um, it's a $90 mistake, but something I wanted to say really quickly is I know I've seen some comments about people asking, you know, if, if we're keeping track of our expenses and everything. And yes, we are. We are doing our best to, you know, keep track of that. So at some point in the future when our house is complete, whenever that may be, we will be doing a total cost video of our house. So stay tuned for that in the future. <laughs> All right, we're starting out strong. Spencer got up on the wrong side of the roof. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Why are you calling your man out? Support your man. Exactly. <laughs> The hardest, most difficult yeah, edge. Because this is clearly not accurate. Do the edge first. Well, you don't have to do that one yet. Really? Mama, hold on. I got you. God, you're like pulling me in, and I can't get to it. Make me fall. No! Don't put that juju out there. Hey, Spencer. What? Screw you. So fighting words where I grew up. Kansas? <laughs> I didn't grow up in Kansas. So Florida? Yeah. <laughs> That's perfectly straight. I know what I'm doing. Just keep telling yourself that. It's literally looking at me. This is like some Nat Geo type shit right now. All right, 
right, so Spencer's getting ready to cut the trim piece that will go up here and then the one for the other end of the house as well. If you guys have followed us since the beginning, you'll remember when we were cleaning out the barn, we found like a ton of ladybugs and they're back. Yeah, it was very late winter slash early spring when we were cleaning that out and they were bad. Like uh, I've read on them a little bit. They apparently over winter, they seek warm, moist, dark places. So the barn was like the perfect place in between wood and stuff like that. Um, so they're everywhere in there. Right now, between September and November is apparently when they start looking for that warm, dark place. And they are everywhere today. They're they're constantly landing on us. They, yeah. It's driving me a little insane. <laughs> Can I like put some oil on myself that the ladybugs hate or something? All right, I need... One of those wood pieces down there with the angle on. No problem, boss. You don't like it when I call you boss, but you really, you really are the boss. As you can see, look at all these ladybugs. These things are everywhere and they're landing on us constantly, driving us insane. It looks good. Best of all, now you can't see the peel and stick up there. You know, I just think it gives it more character. Just one side left. All right, so now we just need to paint this trim and then we can go ahead and start installing the metal roof trim. And for anybody that doesn't know, Bear will not go in the pond past where he can stand. So if we ever throw something into the pond, he will not get it if he can't reach the bottom. Look at that one. Look at that. Oh. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm hiding under the overhang here on the one container because it's starting to rain and I can't get down because the ladder is on the other side. So Spencer's just finishing up putting in those last screws, but yeah, now the center roof is totally done, guys. I mean, the only thing left that we have to do is install the soffit down here, but we're gonna wait on that until we get the other roofs going and, you know, get those roof decks on. But yeah, it's coming along. Watch out for our next video as we begin building the roof over top of one of the shipping containers. Uh, anyone in the future that's going to use peel and stick and their ex baby stop You make a terrible director. <laughs> You're like she well makes, she makes a terrible director. Sorry. I I talk about many things <laughs> You're like, You start talking about one thing you're like, well, so let me what back we did up. was this and then you're like Well, just so in case anybody ever wants to know because I do this in the future. You just like don't complete a thought use Make sure if you lay excess over the uh, the fascia. Oh my God, 